Welcome everybody to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bear. Amen. Feliz yeah. Domingo por la mañana and happy Sunday morning to you. Amen. Jose and Patricia uh, welcome you. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC uh, family, visitors, and all of you joining us by audio and video. Amen. Amen. So we're going to get right to it. We're going to be talking about God is bigger than anything. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Whatever problem, whatever you're facing, God yes. is bigger. Yes. Yes. Amen. It's time we turn that around. Uh -huh. You know, we're always magnifying and making our problems or our cares, whatever it is, bigger than God. Oh, it's time we get it right. God is bigger yes. than anything. Yes, so, you know, don't tell your problems. Mm -hmm. don't, don't tell your God about your big problems. Yes. Tell your God about, you know, your little problems. Amen. Amen. Come on. Grab your, grab your, sword. your problems. Grab your swords. And Amen. let's uh, make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. So, here we go. This is, this is my Bible. Bible. I am what it says I am. I, I am have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. Obviously, I'm the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. We have to believe this. Amen. And we have to confess this on a daily basis for ourselves. I, I'm growing and going for God. Grow yeah. and go. Yeah. We have a yes. message that grow, go, and go for God. Yes. Amen. Because every one of us is a call and we are to stay focused yes. and stay filled and go for God. Amen. Yes. So get yourselves ready. I have a few nuggets I want to share with you before we get going. Let me see. Here's a, here's one. <laughs> Don't throw anything at me. See your hands. Don't throw anything at Pastor, okay? <laughs> never feel unqualified to serve God. Don't never feel unqualified to answer your call. Amen. God yeah. looks at your heart, not your past. That's it. Amen. Some of us disqualify ourselves because of our past. Some of us let ourselves get disqualified by what the world says or what people say. That they're not the ones that call you. God called you and God qualified you and put everything in you to fulfill your, your race, your mission. Amen. So if he qualified, if he called you and qualified you, don't let nobody take that from you. You got to study to show yourself approved, focus on him and press on and do what God has called you to do. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So. He's not looking at your past, you know. He's look. He's looking for your availability. Yes. Are you available? Because yes. uh, I'm going to give you this one now. <laughs> it is dangerous to be so busy that we have no time for God. Oh, yeah. Stop making excuses right. before it's too late. Yes. Amen. Quit looking for excuses. Quit making excuses before it's too late. That's a dangerous ground right it there. Is. Amen. It because is. I, I've shared this with you before. They say the flu season is coming, we prepare ourselves. Whatever the storm season is coming, we prepare ourselves. Uh -huh. The coronavirus is coming, see, uh -huh. and we prepare ourselves. They say that the Bible has been telling us for years, for, for yeah. a long time. Yeah. God, is, Jesus is coming, and we just say, oh, well, no, he ain't never going to come back. Uh -huh. We're not prepared, but he's going to come back. And prepared. don't, find, hopefully we're prepared. Yes. Don't find yourself unprepared, amen? Right. So praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know why, but Lord gave me a few of these. Uh, I let Patricia read one of mine here a few minutes ago. And this is going to be our lesson for today. The size of your mountain, the size of your storm, your care, your problem doesn't compare to the size of your God. Oh, amen. Amen. We got that wrong, you know, where we make our mountains uh, bigger than our God. Amen. Whatever it is, the size of your mountain, the size of your storm, the size of your uh, care, your problem, whatever you want to call it, yeah. doesn't compare to the size of your God. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. You know? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, praise team. A few minutes ago, they sang a song, I will bless thee, O Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, Paul and Silas, in the middle of their problems, in, in the midnight hours, they started worshiping their God. And guess what? God showed up. So whatever you're going through, you know, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to say. Well, guess what? Start worshiping God and he'll show up. That's it. Amen. He'll show up. So true. Amen. I'm, I'm excited. I'm about to. Yes, 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 yes. So open yourselves up and let God come and minister to you. Amen. 
So Amen. God is bigger than anything. Yes. Anything. Amen. Mountain, storm, care. That's the it. size of your mountain, the size uh -huh. of your storm, you care your problem doesn't compare That's to the size of your God. Amen. Draw close to him. He says you'll draw close to you. Draw close to him and stay focused on him. Amen. Stay hungry for him. Uh -huh. Man, I'm hungry already for, for fellowship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> James 4, 7 and 8. A few scriptures I want to give you. It says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. He'll flee from you. Who's your biggest problem? The, the Bible says... That he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Uh -huh. That's your biggest problem. If, if you want to know who your enemy is, it's the devil. It's not your neighbor. It's That's not it. the person sitting next to you. It's the devil. Yeah, he comes yeah. to steal, kill, and destroy. So, yeah, destroy. therefore, it says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And uh -huh. he will so flee you from you. Draw close to God and he'll draw uh -huh. close to you. Amen. The Amplified says it like this. James 4, 7, and 8. Uh -huh. So submit to the authority of God. Uh -huh. Resist the devil. Stand firm against him. Yes. Remember, he's given us authority, but you gotta use your authority. Right. You gotta use it. Amen. You just don't sit back and say, "Well, God, hey, the uh -huh. devil, devil's bothering me." Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's giving you authority. Now I have to use it. Uh huh. Amen. Yeah. And he will flee from you. Come close to God with a contrite heart, repentant remorse. Apologetic, sorry, and he will come close to you. Yes, Wash yes. your hands, you sinner, and purify your unfaithful hearts. Right. You double minded people. Amen. We can't be double minded, right. you know. I tell you, I, t I told you last week to stay focused on him because we live in a negative world. And if you're not focused on him and renewing your mind with the word of God, you're going to be confused. Who do I serve? You got to know who you serve. You serving God or you serving people? Or are you serving this world? We gotta stay focused. We gotta stay focused on yeah, Him. Absolutely. First Peter 5, 7 and 8 says, We gotta we gotta get this. I don't know why, but well, all of us. Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be, be vigilant, yes, because yes. your adversary, your enemy, your foe, mm -hmm. your rival, your challenger, your opponent, mm -hmm. the devil. Yeah. Walks about like a roaring lion, see yes. who mm -hmm. or pursuing in hunt for or looking for in search mm -hmm. of whom he may devour, mm -hmm. consume, demolish, go, mm -hmm. <laughs> go, go up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't give. <laughs> he doesn't give up until That's you it. resist him. Yeah. He keeps coming yes, until you resist him. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. Yes, resist yes. him. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. Resist the and he devil. will flee from you. Yes. That means use that authority. Say, wait a minute. Yeah. I've had enough of this. When are you going to have enough? Right. Yes. Enough is enough. Yeah. It says, <clears throat> another word it says, give it all to him. Uh -huh. Cast it all on him. Cast yeah. means throw it at him. Yeah. Give says, here. Uh -huh. You know, somebody gives you a present, you take it. When yeah. you give it to him, so. you'll, you'll take it. You'll take it. But you have to give and you have to release. When yeah. you're released, it's not mine. Yeah. It's yours. Yeah. You got to do something with it. He's got to do something. With it. He knows what to do with it. You don't. He knows how to deal with it. We yeah. don't. We try to deal with it and we're lost. Uh -huh. we're, 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 we're fighting a, a losing battle. Amen. And the Amplified says this, First Peter 5, 7 and 8. Cast all your cares. All your anxieties, all your worries. Any of you have some of those? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and thing. all your concerns once and for all on him. For he cares about you with yes. deepest affection and watching over you very carefully. Yes. Be sober, well balanced, and yes. self-disciplined. Be alert and cautious at all times. Mm -hmm. Not sometimes. <laughs> when things, hey, yeah. things get light, things get easy. Mm. Things get comfy, and guess what? Mm. Enemy is alert yeah and he's watching he's listening mm -hmm. to what you're saying what you're yes. doing watch your words watch your actions because mm -hmm. the enemy is ready to attack yes he when is. you open doors by what you say or what you do mm -hmm. he'll come in yeah and then you'll say what happened yeah we can't let our guard down that's it <laughs> be alert be cautious at sometimes 
all times. All times. The enemy of yours, the devil, is once again, this is your enemy. The enemy of yours, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, fiercely hungry, seeking yes. someone to devour. Someone. Not me. Just say, not it's me. not going to be me anymore. That's it. I'm resisting. Yes. I'm standing firm. Yes. Amen. Firm. No more, yeah. devil. Right. I'm going to let the word come out. I'm going to let the word mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. come out of my mouth. The right words. Yes. Amen. Remember last week? Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to be either positive or negative. Yes, yeah. You know, if it's going to be negative, you don't mind it, don't even say it. Because you're sowing negative seed. Yes. And that's what you're going to eat. And that's what you're going to grow. Right, right. So, whoo, hallelujah. I'm blessed Amen. already. Let's have fellowship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. Glory. <laughs> Second, yeah. Second Timothy 1 and, 1 and 7 says this. New King James. But God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and a sound mind. If you're walking in fear, it's time that you focus on Him and do what the Word of God tells you to do. Yes. Amen. He's not giving us a spirit of fear. You know what happens when you fill yourself with the Word of God? Your faith grows. And when I start to walk in, I'm going to take steps up. He says, walk by faith. Not by sight. Right. So when I'm walking for him, mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk in steps of faith, yes. knowing that he is with me. Because the Bible says he never leaves me nor forsakes me. Yes. He is with yes. me wherever I go. Yes. And I'm taking steps of faith. And I'm preparing myself by being in a word study to show myself approved. Amen. And getting myself yes. going in the word of God. Amen. Don't Amen. never exclude yourself yes. to say, Well, you know, I, I never learned. I can't hold the word. You know, I never learned the word. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to keep doing it. That's it. Got to keep putting it in there. You know, That's just it. like we do with some negative things. Mm -hmm. We say it, we say it, we say it. Mm -hmm. And we do it. Mm -hmm. But we got to be positive and confess the word. Amen. One, one verse at a time. One verse at a time. You have to read the whole book through and you didn't memorize. You didn't say, you didn't learn anything. That's it. <laughs> one verse at a time. Yeah. One step at a time. Amen. And you're going to start seeing that faith rise up. And you know what you're doing? You're maturing. You're you're a baby Christian, but you're maturing in the things of God. And the enemy is backing off. The resistant, he feels that resistant. Remember, you gotta speak it out. I've got all this word in me, and I say nothing, man. I'm a defeated Christian. Yeah. That's the worst thing you can be. A defeated yeah. Christian. Mm -hmm. Then the enemy walk all over you. Say, wait a minute, the word of God works if I work it. Mm -hmm. I gotta release it. I gotta yeah. speak yeah. it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> When things are going bad, sounding bad, looking bad, yeah. one place to yeah. turn for guidance, one place to mm -hmm. turn for help, yes. and help that lasts for eternity is running to the open and loving Savior. Yes. Amen. Run to Him. Amen. Amen. Praise God for help. Those that are in fear, hurting, seeking Him, or draw wanting to draw close to Him, and stay focused Amen. on Him. Amen. Amen. Stay hungry for Him yes. on a daily basis. Just like I'm hungry for food all the time, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, we just stay hungry for the spiritual food. Yes. Feed your spirit, man, before you feed your physical man. Yes. <laughs> Some of us uh, uh, got that backwards because we're feeding our, our, our physical man uh -huh. a little more, and it shows. <laughs> yeah. So we gotta be careful. <laughs> feed on the word. Feed on the things yeah. of God, because we have to. We we are tri being. We are spirit. If you don't know, I've never heard this before. We're a tri-being. We're three in one. Yes. We're a spirit. We have a soul, our mind, wills, and emotions. And we live in a physical life. Yes. But your spirit, man, you feed it the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your your mind, your soul, you gotta feed on renew your, your, your mind with the word of God. With the word of God. And your 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 flesh, your spirit your physical body mm -hmm. you have to crucify yeah because it wants to just be comfy all the time it wants to be spoiled all the time yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. so you know what when it's time to read the word you just got to discipline yourself to do it just like we discipline man. you know hey when it's time to see the football when it's time to see the sports for me man i'm ready i got that remote is on you know <laughs> i grab that remote and it's time to view the things that we enjoy doing when it's time to put that aside seek you first the kingdom of god yes. and get in the word and start growing in the word feeding yes. myself Thank spiritual you. food 
before I have the physical food or have myself into the TV. Amen. Amen. Matthew 11, 28 and 30 says this, Come to me, all you that labor in a heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, yes. for I am gentle and lowly in heart. Uh -huh. And you will find rest for your souls. Yes. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we, we go to him. Amen. Give it, give all your problems to him. Mm -hmm. Let him know. He says, if you're having all these things, come to me. But give it to me. And find rest in me. Find peace in him. Church, just call out to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's mm -hmm. one prayer away. He's one call away. Uh -huh. And we can reach to him. Amen. He, he, he'll never leave you and he'll forsake you. He's there. But you have to reach out to him. One prayer away. Jesus called for strength for his father. Mm -hmm. You know, all the things that he went through. The Bible says he went to the father. Lord, I need strength to fulfill this, what you've called me to do. He knew from when he came that he was going to be crucified. That he was going to be sacrificed. Yes. And I need your help to yeah. complete this mission. Mm -hmm. How much more we need him to complete every day. Yes. Lord, I need you this day. Yes. It's harder and harder. Well, mm -hmm. get yourself full of him, you know, to yes. make things better. Amen. Amen. And if you're not, remember, we're no match. Uh, a a, a, a part-time Christian, don't call yourself a part-time Christian. Part-time mm -hmm. Christian is no match yes, to yes. a full-time devil. That's right. If you're fighting them all physically, mm -hmm. you're no match. Mm -hmm. If you're fighting them with the word, yeah. he knows. That's it. Resist him. I yes. know I'm fighting with the word. When I speak the word, uh -huh. I'm going to resist him. Uh -huh. And he's going to flee from me. Yes. You know, you can go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Not here anymore. Yep. Amen. 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 Gone. Amen. The prodigal son made a call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Dad, can I come back home? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he came back home, you know, because he found himself overwhelmed. Yeah. This world will swallow you up, eat yes, you up will. in a heartbeat. That's You're it. no match. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want my freedom, you know. Say, go ahead, give me what I've got coming. I'm gone. But he, I need to come home. That's fine, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of us, those of you watching, those of you listening, yeah. we need to come back home to God. Yes, yeah. Amen. Amen. We need Him. We can't survive without Him. That's it. It's time to come to Him. We've gone to everything else and lived for somebody else's help. This world and everywhere. And they've all rejected you. The prodigal mm -hmm. sons. Yeah. They've all turned you down. That's it. They couldn't help you. They put you down on the side. Mm -hmm. You're on the side just waiting. The prodigal son was eating with the pigs. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do that. That's we need to come to Father and He knows what to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we got to get right. Stay focused and yes. follow His lead. Amen. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Father received yeah. him back with open arms. Yes, yeah. And reinstated him. Yes. Every one of us has a call from the Father. Uh -huh. And when we walk away from him, that call never leaves you. That's it. Thank you, Lord. The call never oh. leaves you. It's always there for you. Yes, yes. But we have to come back to Father. Father yes. says. He wants to dust you, love you, and say, press on. Yeah. 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 Press on with Him. Yeah. Don't forget about me. Stay focused. Yeah. When you stay focused on Him, right. you won't leave and have yeah. distractions pull you away. Right. Because the world and the enemy is going to see to it yeah. that these distractions pull you away yeah. from Him. Yeah. From God. Yeah. So stay focused so I can stay yeah. Right in there, in the narrow way, in, in, with him. Amen. Amen. Just let's let us let us let us remember that. Yes. Stay because close. that call is going to be there, and some of us have walked away. And some of you're listening, you're watching. It's no, but not by accident. God wants you to come home, Amen. and you need to come home. All you need to do is say, Lord, I I failed you, I've sinned against you, I repent, and come back home. He's going to receive you with open arms and says, Okay, son. Okay, daughter, it's time to press on. Yes. I put the call in you. I qualified you. I yes. gifted you in all the things that you need to fulfill what I called you to do. Yes. Now it's time to get up and get going. Yes. You know, he's not going to reject you. We reject him. Yeah. Yes. But he won't reject us. He yes. receives us with open arms. Yes, he is. And you're listening. 
So let's remember that. Come back to him. You can go wherever you happen to be. Yes. And just ask him, I want to come home. Yes. He won't turn you down. Moses at the Red Sea. <laughs> Some of us find ourselves desperate. He's got millions of people. He's leading his people out of Egypt. Yes. Yeah. And guess what? They decided to let him go. Mm -hmm. But then they changed their mind. So here comes the army, Egyptian army. And there's a Red Sea in front of Moses here. And all these people are waiting. What do I do? Lord, I need you. <laughs> yes. So what do I get? <clears throat> he says, he tells him what to do. And guess what? The Red Sea. Mm -hmm. See, my God is bigger than anything. Yeah. Yes. Right. He spoke to the sea. And, and the sea opened up. Yes. And they walked through dry ground all mm -hmm. the way to the other side. Yes. And then it closed up on the army. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's going to do the same for you. He's going to open up whatever needs to be open. He's going to mm -hmm. change whatever needs to be changed. Yeah. Yeah. And press on with him. Amen. Amen. It's time to move on. That's it. Lady with the Israel Bloods. This lady was determined. Says, yes, you know what? Was. I've been to all the doctors mm -hmm. and they have been no help to me. No help. So I heard about Jesus mm -hmm. and I'm going to go. If I could just touch. He didn't say if I could just touch his mm -hmm. hand mm -hmm. or have him prayed over me. Mm -hmm. She says, if I could just touch the, his, his garment, mm -hmm. the garment, clothes. Mm -hmm. And she did, you know. And when she was determined to do this, she touched the garment. Yes. And she was healed. Yes. Jesus said, somebody touch me. Yes. The disciple says, all these people around you, all these people bumping on you, and you're talking about somebody touched you? <laughs> she, she was touched. Yes. She had a desperate. She says, yes. I yes. know that I am going to be healed when I touch his garment. Yes. Yes. And Amen. she was. Amen. And some of you need a touch of it. Amen. Yes, you need to reach out to him and yes. touch Amen. now, you know. Amen. Don't don't let anything else distract you, That's whatever it. it may be. Touch him. Come home. Yes. Amen. Yes. Daniel. <laughs> Man, a lot of these things have to do with uh jealousies. <laughs> a lot of these things have to do with uh oh. you know, people not wanting you to succeed. Uh -huh. You know. Uh -huh. And uh Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. Mm -hmm. He was doing good. But he said, no, you can't pray now. Mm -hmm. Daniel says, I'm going to pray no matter what. Yeah. Nobody's going to tell me not to pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's just Jose's. <laughs> so he prayed and he <laughs> said, not, you can't do that no more. <laughs> so the king made this decree, decree you know. Yes. And uh, now he came back from it. Mm -hmm. yes. So he's got to go throw his friend yeah. in, in the lion's den. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. and, and, you know, these, these guys... These lions are not just uh, fat and happy. These, these lions are hungry. Okay, just like us with the fellowship. <laughs> We're ready. I'm hungry. <laughs> and but guess what? God took care of the lions. He just shut their mouth, or either shut their mouth, or just fill their tummies. Right. Or just told me so. You can't touch my son. You can't touch. Can't touch. Can't touch him. Amen. And they obey. And Daniel said, thank you. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Woo Hallelujah. God is here. All the time. He refused to cease from praying. Yes. yes. No matter what. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm not going to stop praying mm -hmm. to my God, you know. David and Goliath. Mm -hmm. Big, giant Goliath. Big no, problem. <laughs> you know what? Hey. Uh, COVID-19 or whatever you want to call it, mm. coronavirus, yeah. whatever the biggest, newest thing around, you know, Yes. my God oh, is bigger. Yes. Amen. You know, Amen. when David came around, little shepherd boy, and they see a big giant, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Hmm. God's going to my side. God's going to help me. Yes. Whatever's facing you, whatever giant you have in front of you, whatever storm, whatever mountain you have in front of you, whatever problem you have in front of you, my God is bigger. That's what we're talking about. Yes. My God is bigger than anything coming against me. So I'm going to rely on him. Woo, hallelujah. Joshua at the walls of Jericho. You remember? Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, yeah. it's impossible for these walls to come down. No, Why? Big. For men, it's impossible. But God, all things are possible. Mm -hmm. He told them what yes. to do. They did it. And then 
walls come down. It yes. certainly happened this way. That's if God it. says so, it will. It will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. it and yeah. it come down. Yeah. Jonah in the belly of a, of a big fish. Yeah. Don't find yourself in the belly of a big fish. <laughs> Because he was resisting. He says, God told him what to do. He says, no, I'm not doing this. I'm going the other way. Like a prodigal son, you know. He says, no, I want to do my own thing. I'm going to go the other way. But then he says, you know, he got in that ship and he told the captain, the reason you're having problems is because I'm here and I'm disobedient to God. Just throw me overboard and your problem's over. Guess what? They threw him over. <laughs> You promised to be solved. Then he found himself in the belly of a fish. How would you like to be in the belly of a fish? And I'm still thinking, and I'm still talking to God now. I say, Lord, okay, I'll do what you want me to do. <laughs> Sometimes we find ourselves yeah. in some situations, in some predicaments mm -hmm. that uh, we didn't, shouldn't be in. Mm -hmm. And Amen. then it's time to repent. Yes. So whatever you may be that you're going through, you're listening, you're watching. Yeah. Just go to him and repent. Mm -hmm. Say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Yes. I repent and come back. Yes. And you know, he's gonna, he had the fish go to Nineveh at the shores of Nineveh and spit him out. Mm -hmm. And say, okay, I want to fulfill what God called me That's to do. Right Some right of you there. are still on hold and not doing what God oh, called you to do. No. Amen. Oh. Whatever it may be. Uh -huh. Big or small, it doesn't matter. You're doing it under him, it's good enough. Yes, yes. Amen. Let's, let's Amen. have this attitude, whatever he's called us to do. I don't have to compare with anybody else about what I'm doing. If I'm doing it under him, I'm serving him. Uh -huh. Right. Amen. 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 Yes. Whatever it may be, cleaning church, passing out food, whatever it may be. Amen. Glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Just do it under him. When you do it under him, and you do it under God. Yeah. Yes. It don't matter what people say. I'm That's happy. It. And I'm completing what he's want me to do. And I'm going to fulfill what he's called me to do. Amen. And do. Praise God. Amen. The three Hebrew children is one of my favorites. Mm. They threw them in a fiery furnace. Oh boy. And it was so hot. The people that threw them in, or the soldiers, whatever they happened to be, were consumed. Yes. They died. Yes. Mm -hmm. But still, they threw three in. Mm -hmm. And when they looked in the fire, mm -hmm. they said, there's four in there. <laughs> How did we throw in three and get four out of this? Yes, yes, yes. He was with them. And wherever you happen to be, God is with you. All we need to do is do an about face yes. and turn around Amen. and God is there. And say, okay, I dust you off. Now it's time to go on. Press on. That's the word. That's the best thing he could say is press on. Yes. Another word, best thing he could say is at the end when he says, calls you home and says, well done, good and faithful servant. Amen. That's what I want to hear. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hallelujah. The apostles. Yes. Jesus says, we're going to the other side. Uh -huh. And then he goes to sleep. Yeah. He's got peace about this. The storms rise up. And they come to Jesus. And they say, Master, don't you care? We, we, we perish. <laughs> Jesus said, oh man, you have little faith. <laughs> <laughs> He's told us we're going to fulfill. Mm -hmm. We're going to the other side. What, yes. what, that's why it's so important. You know what the Word of God says. Yes. Because when you do what the Word of God says, you'll have faith. Yeah. I'm going to have faith and say, we're going to the other side. That tells me, no matter what comes against me on a daily basis, yes. He's with me. And yeah. we're going to fulfill what he's called he's told us to do yes we're going to the other side because he says we're going through and we're going to make it to the other side yeah that was enough uh -huh. for me to say we're going to make it through this day yes thank praise you, god lord. this is the day the lord has made i'm going to rejoice and be yes. glad in him, no matter what comes yeah. against me praise god thank amen you, hey but they came and you know what he got up and he spoke to the winds and they there was peace mm -hmm. we can do these things mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I have a little uh, nugget that I wanted to read to you. Here we go. What's the one I gave you, Patricia? Uh, anyway, it's, it, it, it's, it's about prayers. About prayers? Yeah. It's about prayers. Second Chronicles 7.14 says this. In the expanded Bible, listen. If my people, he's talking about his people, 
who are called by my name, who belong to me, will humble themselves. Yes. If they pray, mm -hmm. they will seek me. What? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. They will seek me. They will, excuse me, they will pray and seek me, mm -hmm. my face, and stop yeah. their evil ways. I will hear them from heaven. Mm -hmm. I will forgive their sins, and I will heal, uh -huh. restore their land. Yes, amen. So pray, 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 not complain. Mm -hmm. Prayer helps. Complaining does not. <laughs> Complaining does not. Yes, correct. And this is a little handout I, I give in the church. Prayer is a sin killer, mm. a sick killer, excuse me, a sick healer, mm. a power giver, mm -hmm. a vi victory gainer, yes. a powerful weapon, a blessing promoter. You have the power within you. Mm -hmm. In the bottom here, I just wrote, prayer is the strongest force, force in the world. Amen. Prayer is yes. just talking to God. Prayer says, changes things. You hear things around the world, and yet you wear a little Marfa gear, mm -hmm. or you may be yourself wherever you may happen to be. Yet prayer, when you pray, will change because your God is mm -hmm. faithful in fulfilling yeah. what he, 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 what what you're praying about. He's going to change. Yeah. Prayer will change things because the yes, Word of God yeah. says so. He says that He speaks words. And it'll go out and accomplish what he sends it out to do. Right, That's what his word says. Not will not return That's to him right. void. It's going to do what it goes out to mm -hmm. do. Amen. So prayer, the strongest force in the world. Prayer is the strongest uh, a mm -hmm. thing you can pray, mm -hmm. you can say. So let's remember that. It says if my people, if my people who are called by my name mm -hmm. will humble themselves pray. if pray and pray. Mm -hmm. So we need to humble ourselves and pray. Yes. Amen. And not just when things are going bad, we pray all the time. Because yeah. prayer is just talking to God. Amen. Confess, confess his word to him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. Thank so we're to share good news. The gospel, not the gossip. <laughs> I yeah. told you last week, we're the church of the uh, gospel, That's not gospel. church of the gossip. That's it. Amen. Second <laughs> Corinthians 5, 16, and 19, then the Amplified says, mm -hmm. Rejoice always and delight in, in your faith. Mm-hmm. Uh, be seasoned and persistent in prayer in yes. every situation no matter what the circumstances be thankful and continually give thanks to God for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus amen God is uh, first first Thessalonians excuse me first Thessalonians 5 6 through 18 oh, okay. God is great and will be sought and he yeah. is good and he will be found God is great and greatly to be praised. Amen. Amen. So we to draw close to God yes. and stay focused on Him. And right. good things, positive things will happen. Yes, it will. Amen. Amen. But we got to have a change of plans. We got to have a change of yeah. life. When you change and start living for Him, things will start happening. Yeah. Amen. Yes, he wants to will. bless you. He doesn't want to keep from you. Again, uh, James 4, 7, and 8, submit yourselves to God. Surrender yourselves to God and place yourself totally mm -hmm. in His hands. Amen. And verse 8 says, draw close or near to God, mm -hmm. and He will draw close yes. or near to you. That's where yeah. we need to be. It's right Amen. next to Him, you know, right to Him, right side by side. Right. Amen. So draw close to God, stay focused on God. Is a choice you yeah. need to make. Yes, amen. Don't worry about anybody else. Mm -hmm. You start living this for amen. yourself. Yes. Amen. Start living this. God, it, it, it's a it's a life change. Yes, it is. Draw close to God. He'll draw close to you. Mm -hmm. It's your choice. We must do our part. He's already done his part. Yes, he has. Amen. We keep waiting on God. Yeah. Well, God's waiting on us. Huh? Yeah. When are you gonna move? <laughs> mm -hmm. Get off your cold and it's mm -hmm. time to press on with Him. Amen. Well, I don't know what to do. Well, then you go to him and you seek yeah. him and ask him. Yes. <laughs> he's got all the plans. But you know, when you read his word, he's talking to you and he's telling you what to do. Yes. Praise God. Uh, Proverbs 3, 30 through 32. New Living Translation says, Do not fight with a man for no reason, 
when he has done you no harm, no wrong. Uh -huh. Do not be jealous of a man who's hurt others huh. and do not choose any of his ways. For the bad man is hated by the Lord and he is closer and nearer to those who are right with him. Right. Amen. Amen. When we're walking away from him, you're walking in dangerous grounds mm -hmm. because you're walking from his yes. umbrella of protection. That's it. Amen. And you don't want to get away from him because the enemy is going to have you. Mm -hmm. The world is going to have you. Mm -hmm. And it's not his fault. It's our, right, right. It's our fault. We That's need to do the right true. things to stay yeah. close to him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Many Christians will tell you <laughs> that they love God. Mm -hmm. They want to get close to God. And they want to come to church. Uh, uh, church alive is worth the drive. Yeah. <laughs> church alive in the things of God. Church alive oh, in the Word is worth the drive. Amen. Or the walk, depending on how close you you live. Amen. <laughs> they want to change. Few succeed. Quit using excuses. Put some feet to your faith yes. and press on with the things of God. Amen. Amen. It's time to get going for Him. Yeah. We're in the last days. Again, we're in the last days. Well, it's time to press on. Yeah. Whatever it is we need to do, mm -hmm. it's time to get busy. Yes. 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 God loves you and he loves to draw close to you. Mm -hmm. It's good and uplifting for you to draw close to him mm -hmm. on a daily basis. How do you draw close to him? Well, you spend time with him. Yeah. You open the Bible and read and get the word mm -hmm. in you. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you get the word in you, you're going to step out in faith. Yes. Not only that, when you get right. your word in you, he says, out of your innermost being mm -hmm. shall flow yeah. rivers, rivers of living water. Amen. When, you, when you speak the word, yeah. it's alive. Amen. Amen. It's alive. Praise Amen. God. Uh, Revelation 3 and 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Mm -hmm. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to yes. him and dine with him Amen. and he with me. If you're opening up to him, he's going to come in. Mm -hmm. If you're resisting him, mm -hmm. he's not going to force. That's it. He's mm -hmm. not going to force his way in that's it. unless you invite him in. Amen. You know that's why when you surrender yourself to him and you say, "Lord, I've sinned against you, come into my life, be my Lord and Savior," we're opening up to him. Yes. Or if you're already born again, just say, "Lord, I want to rededicate myself back to mm -hmm. you." But you want him. Number one in your life. Yes. Amen. Thank you. And, and Revelation 3, 20, 3 16 says, So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit mm. you out of my mouth. Mm. We can't play games with him. That's it. He said, I really have you hot or cold, mm -hmm. but not lukewarm. We not can't lukewarm. play church. We can't yeah. just straddle a fence and That's say, it. Well, I want a little bit of the world All and right. a little oh, bit of God. Oh, no, no, no. And I can't hold hands with both. We, no. can't, we can't dance this way. <laughs> We can't walk this way. Yeah. Right. You gotta make a choice. Yes. You see, you. I really have to be warm. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, hot. hot or cold. Yeah. But not lukewarm. Not lukewarm. He says, "I'll spit you out." Hmm. But that's we have to make this choice. Yes, yes. 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 Revelation three sixteen and uh, New King James says, "So then, because you're lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will vomit you out of my mouth." Oh boy. Spit, vomit. Hmm. <laughs> Amplify says. So because you're lukewarm, spiritually useless, you're, you're a born again believer and you're spiritually useless. You've got the word of God in you and you won't speak it out. You won't use it. You won't listen to him. And you're not walking with him. The Bible says you're spiritually useless. I don't want that to be said of me. That's right. So because yeah. you're lukewarm, spiritually useless, mm -hmm. and neither hot nor cold, I right. will vomit you out of my mouth. Oh, I will reject you uh -huh. with disgust. This is the Amplified. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> so let's remember this. Go close to God yes. in prayer. Spend time with Him. This is the things that we need to do. Yes. We need to be in prayer with Him, spend time with Him. How do we spend time with Him? We can just pray. Mm -hmm. Or again, you can read, read the word, open the word, and say, Well, God never speaks to me. But do you ever open the Bible? That's it. What is that? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> the word of God. We gotta yes. get it Amen. and open it up and yes. read it, you know? Yes. You know, you might have to dust it off mm -hmm. some, but we we have to do something. Yes. We, we gotta take these steps. Thank you, Lord. In praise and worship. 
Mm. Praise and worship him. You know Jesus praised and worshiped the Father before he was mm -hmm. crucified. Well, I'm not gonna go there. Mm -hmm. Cast your troubles on him and he will help you. Yes. In reading his word, meditating on his word, and encouragement. He loves you. He loves us. Or he loves you is everlasting. Yes. Won't you, disappear because you failed or sinned. He won't mm -hmm. take off. He won't leave you, no forsake. That's it. That's it. He's with you forever. Yes, he so is. let Jesus be your role model and pray. Jesus prayed, so can we. Yes. yes. He said he prayed to the Father. Lord, I need your strength. I'm facing some tough, tough situations, but I know that I can do all things through mm -hmm. you. Be with me. Be with yeah. me. He's yeah. going to be with you. He yeah. taught his followers to pray, so yes, can we. Paul spoke of a continual continual mm -hmm. prayer. So can we. The apostles gave thanks That's or it. gave themselves to prayer. So yes. can we. The yes. Bible says we can do all things all through Christ things. who strengthens yes. us. Yes. Lord, yes. help me to be what you call me to be. Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. Acts 6 and 4 in New Living Translation says, Then the apostles can spend time in prayer and teachings in the Word. Mm -hmm. They spend time in prayer and teaching the word of God. Right. Amen. Amen. So can we. New King, uh, New King James says, but we apostles will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Yes. And we'll draw close to him yes. and he'll draw close to us. Amen. Yes. There's no greater need for the church than the body of Christ to draw closer to God. Amen. Without him, we're nothing. That's right. With him, we're everything. Yes. Amen. With him, we lose. Praise God. Thank you. Lord. With him, we win. So I want to stay on the winning side. Amen. Amen. So let's stop right here. Listen to this. I'll close with this. Amen. Our Heavenly Father desires a close relationship with his children. Yes. Remember, he calls us his children. He didn't call you a loser. He didn't call you a nobody. Quit calling yourself a failure. Quit calling yourself things the Bible don't talk about to you. you used to call you we used to call ourselves negative things it's time we change our vocabulary Thank it's you. time we change and start speaking uh -huh. what the word of God says we are amen. amen we have a, a, a list of handout over there that tells us about these things and we start calling ourselves these things I'm a child of God. I can do all things through Christ. All Amen. Things. And confess what the Word of God says that you are. Not what you used to be. Remember, in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says that you're a new creature in Christ. Yeah. It says the old is gone, the new is in. I had a spiritual birth. You had a spiritual birth. Amen. So, let's, uh, let's stop right there. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, praise God. Father, we just thank you for your precious Word. And help us, Lord. To yes. draw close to you, Father God. Draw near to you, Lord, in each and every way, each and every day, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. And before we go, I just want to give you an opportunity. Those of you that are uh, uh, watching, those of you that are listening, yes. just want to let you know that uh, God is not giving up on you. That's Don't it. give up on yourself. That's it. Amen. If you never accepted Christ, mm -hmm. Or if you have or you want to rededicate yourself, all you have to do is just say, Lord, <laughs> I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord yes. and Savior. And start living for him. Start reading the word. Start going to church where they teach the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And start growing and going for yes. him. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. If you have sickness in your body, we just... Yes. Uh, Cast that uh, spirit of infirmity out for you. Yes. In Jesus' name. We just also, the Bible says that by Jesus Christ, you are healed. Mm -hmm. So place that hand on your body, yes. wherever you happen to hurt. Amen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My knee hurt. <laughs> 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 and pray. Father, yes. we just thank you that by Jesus yes. Christ, we are healed, Father yes. God, because our body is temple of the Holy Ghost. And we receive no malfunctions in our body, Lord. From the crown of our head to the soul of our feet, we call ourselves healed by the Word of God. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Yes, God. Also, thank you, Scott. Time to give. Those of you watching, listening, you like to give, your tithe, your offering, just go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. Yeah. If you're mailing it, 
can be seen PO Box 252, Mark of Texas, 79843. Praise God. Thank you. God loves you and we love you. Praise God.